Hey, what's going on? Bill is Kurosama here. So we're taking a look at the Shar Zaku 2 in this analysis video. So what this video is going to be about is just taking a look at all the stats, all the trades, the word tags, everything you can think of in correlation to this mobile suit. And we're going to really answer the question if this mobile suit is even worth getting into. Uh, but for the most part, I do think it's going to be a pretty straightforward MS. It's, th it's definitely going to be the best Zaku to date. Um, hopefully we get some better ones in the future, but for right now, hey, we're going to have to make do with what we got. Um, so accidentally clicked on weaponry. Now the first thing we we'll take a look at is going to be the coloring and everything about the MS, uh, just the general looks. Um, I think the coloring is off. I, I That tan should be more of a very dark red, um, but yeah, it looks just like brown tan. That's, I don't know, to me, the body looks really, really off. So that's something I'm not about, to be honest. And that backpack is a completely different color than the rest of the body. So yeah, it it just looks a little bit odd to me. But you know, nonetheless, we can easily paint it. I'm probably gonna paint mine white uh, because I do like uh, I, I think it's like the Shin uh, Masudo. I, no, not Masudo. Wow. It, I know it's it's like from the Ogre series, if I'm not mistaken. But a white Zaku, I think, looks pretty damn good. But yeah, it's a basic Zaku too, just with the commander uh, fin on top and in the Shars colors. Now we're gonna take a look at the head. I've actually managed to get my Zaku 2's head to level five, um, but let's uh, let's go to max value because honestly, this is a default level three uh, rarity. So getting parts on this is not going to be that hard. I honestly would expect you to probably max this out maybe in a few months, just from like doing your uh, basic banners because it's in all the banners. So when you do your free dailies twice a day, actually, and you're gonna be doing your regular pulls. Honestly, you should get a couple of Zaku parts in there. But yeah, just taking a look at it, uh, you know, the stats don't look bad. That shot attack isn't isn't too shabby, to be honest. Um, it's not going to have any beam resistance. But yeah, I think the shot attack is actually something that you're really going to enjoy on this head. Uh, definitely a lot better than all the other Zakus. Now for the EX skill, you are going to have beam coat beta. Uh, it's going to be a buff, obviously. Uh, effect time is going to be 51 seconds. That's going to be a pretty long buff. Most matches probably ends in less than 60 seconds. And, and at least in my case, 60 seconds is uh, is usually the cap. Now, cooldown is going to be 33 seconds. First time is going to be 7 seconds. Raises ally beam resistance by 49%. So, it says raises ally beam resistance. This doesn't seem it can work on itself. Uh, usually when it says raises ally, then it's like, hey, you're choosing one of your other two partners. Whereas if it says squad, then you are included, or if it says self, then you are the primary target. So a little bit of wordplay there, but you know, it's this is definitely going to be more of a support MS. Uh, its attribute is primarily going to be speed, so eh, it's kind of weird. It, it would probably seem like this may be more of a technical, but speed obviously three times faster, hardy, hardy, hard. And next we're going to be taking a look at is going to be the body. So with the body, I've actually managed to get it to level two. Let's take a look at the max value. Um, the armor's the armor is actually decent. The rest of the stats are not looking that good, to be honest. Uh, the defenses, I think they're they're okay. They're kind of like around the average point. Um, but yeah, everything else is not looking very solid. And its beam resistance is, yeah, this thing is not going to be resisting a lot of beam attacks at all. So um, yeah, it's something you really got to look out for. Now we take a look at the parts trait. It says when armor is 60% or more, debuff EX skill effect up 15%. So that's really damn good. So this is going to be uh, more, I would say, if you have like, uh, let's just say hypothetically, you're using a Gundam head that has the Vulcans. Those Vulcans generally have debuffs attached to it. So this is going to be increasing that debuff effect uh, 15%. So that's pretty good. But for the most part, I'm not really too focused on trying to lower defenses uh, with the Vulcans. I just feel like that can be replaced with a better trait or a better EX ability altogether. And next we're going to have is these Zaku 2 arms. So um, these arms are pretty cool. I did get them to, uh, to level 3 for the EX skill. And the melee attack is actually halfway decent. Honestly, 1600 isn't too shabby. Um, it's definitely not going to be anywhere near comparison to like Exia or some of the other default 4 stars. But for a 3 star, I honestly think it's not too bad. Um, now we're going to take a look at the EX skill. Fearless charge. Physical melee. D piercing. Powers B plus. Uh, cool down 30 seconds. First time 8 seconds. Charge ferociously towards the enemy. This is uh, generally an animation that you can actually um, you know, knock the opponent out of. So um, it's, 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 it's okay. I mean B plus on power. You know That's not too shabby. Um, if it was a B, yeah, I probably wouldn't really care too much. But it is going to be a 
pretty fast cooldown. So eight seconds, and then bam, 30 seconds after that, you can just keep uh, pushing these out. So you know what? It's not too bad, but there's a lot of better options out there, to be honest. And the next item we're moving on to is the legs. So I got these uh, parts traits up to level four. You're looking at the max value. The stats are pretty good. Um, obviously, that defense is kind of like where legs generally shine. Um, but it actually has a little bit of beam resistance this time. The attack obviously is going to be uh, abysmal. And the armor is going to be fairly low. But you know what? It's not really uh, it's not really the end of the world. This is something uh, that you could probably look more towards of like trying to replace. Uh, but let's take a look at the parts trait. So with speed attribute, which it is, special shot power boosted 25%. So what is special shot? Special shot is when you long hold on the fire button if you are a mid or a long range shooter and you basically just either shoot a large cannon uh, for some of the machine gunners. You just keep firing your machine gun until it's uh, you know magazine uh, clip is empty. But yeah, the power on that is going to be boosted 25%. So you've probably seen it uh, in some of my let's plays on this game. Uh, whenever I just hold that button and it's just like a big like buster rifle blast that is going to be boosted by 25% if I use such a weapon on this mobile suit and have the license either mid or long shooter. And lastly, we're gonna take a look at the backpack. So the backpack, I've already got to level three when it comes to the parts traits. And looking at the stats, yeah, I just really haven't been impressed, but honestly, it's a default level three. So, you know, it's not really going to be in a top tier status. Uh, so far, all these stats have been super bland. Uh, nothing has really stood out. The arms are very much okay when it came to its actual attack, and the head was okay when it came to the shot. So it kind of seems more of like an all-rounder kind of mobile suit. I, I've, I've been seeing the melee and the shot attack kind of been in, in the same stat bracket, but let's take a look at the parts traits. So with speed attribute, once again, EX skill piercing boosted 22%. So that's actually really good. The EX skill piercing, let's go back to its uh, other weapon. So it does have this other EX skill that has a piercing damage uh, or a piercing category of D. So if we increase that, I mean, you're gonna have a really good power and a really good piercing, but obviously we're not gonna rely on fearless charge as our you know, main EX ability. It is a good one just to kind of initiate the entire start of the battle, but we're definitely gonna have to get something that's a lot better that can actually benefit that usage of the piercing uh, addition. Now let's just take a look at Shar Aznable because obviously, hey, this is his mobile suit, so he should definitely be the one piloting it. Uh, but he is going to be a speed attribute, so pretty much in line. Um, his stats are really even. Like he, he definitely seems like a very well-rounded and balanced character. So there's no stats that are like super overpowering over others. I mean. Pretty much all of it, except for the physical resistance, is on par with each other. And, you know, obviously shot all the way to armor is going to be the same exact stat. So very, very balanced. Now take a look at its parts traits. With speed attribute self, once again, all damage taken reduced by 20. So that's 20 damage, not 20%. That's actually really damn good. Uh, Shar is definitely, it's a good MS. And with him being an outfighter, that's going to be important because you're probably going to be more prone to taking damage as an outfighter, vice a long shooter. So you're going to want to take a little bit uh, of, of reduction when it comes to that damage. So for word tag, we are going to have quite a bit of options to choose from. But the main one that we are going to have at default is going to be Ace Excel. And what that does is it's going to raise shot attack 10% while active. So it's kind of like close com combat, uh, but it's going to be more of a long shooter uh, type of attack. Which is kind of odd that Shar Aznable would have that uh, specific word tag because he is going to be an outfighter. Why wouldn't he have like mid range or a uh, long range attack? Long range I can understand, but definitely it seems odd that he's not going to be a mid range fighter. Now, obviously, we're not going to be getting Commander unless we change up some of the main Zaku body, and that's not what I want to do. We got to we got to equip this with some uh, weaponry. It's not going to have any default three stars that are very much uh, Zaku two oriented. A lot of them are kind of like you know, mostly Gundam oriented, to be honest, uh, like the dual Gundam or um, Blitz, you know, it's not really looking too good on the three stars, but we are going to have quite a few of two stars. So now with the different weapons and the shield attached, I actually was able to activate four space. Now what does four space do? It's going to raise all perimeters 1% while active. Space category gets an extra 3% boost. 
Now, this is really aligned with what the uh, the Char pilot is actually doing and what the overall mobile suit is doing. It's become a very balanced and versatile MS, so I actually switched that, my bad. Um, but yeah, it's like all the stats are really just going to kind of like, you know, assist itself. But yeah, I, I still don't think it's really that great. But hey, if you're really going for the word tags, four space and the ace is going to be your two that you're easily going to be, uh, be able to obtain. Okay, so we're going to be launching into pretty much the weakest uh, mission I can find. So it's just one of the 15 uh, costs. Uh, I think it's like a 4,000 uh, free mission. So let's just take a look and see how I'm going to be able to perform. So take a look at some of these EX skills. This was actually from the shield, the Giridoga. Oh, it looks like I'm be going a little bit faster. Okay, so I was a little bit too too strong. But, you know, overall, uh, that was actually a little too quick. So we'll go ahead and redo another one. All right, so we're going to jump into the five cost, which is at 8,000 for the event. Oh, my God. We're look. Oh, that's bad. That's so bad. Oh, we're good. Do that beam coating. Oh, no, no, no. So, you know, overall, the feel isn't bad. Let's take a look at Fearless Charge. Eh, obviously we're such a low level, it's probably not making a, uh, a huge difference. But if we double tap, well, usually if we just double tap on the screen. Come on, tag, all right. But yeah, overall the feel of the Zaku 2 really isn't too bad. I would just say it's like, it feels a little bit stiff. It's not as fast as like the Barbados, like 100% not as fast. So this is not going to, yeah, so you don't see the, the buff. That's not working at all. Fearless Charge. All right, so now we got our um, Outfighter working. All right. So the damage output isn't too bad. Obviously, we're really relying on our weapon right now. You know, I'm gonna save that for the blitz because that blitz is coming. So, but yeah, it's just it kind of sucks that you're not gonna get any good weapons as default with this mobile suit. Oh no no no, no that's bad. Oh, it's looking so bad. Alright, so we got one out of the way. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, pray for me, my boys. I still got three minutes, though. We got to bite our time. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so... It's... No, I'm definitely not using chips for that. So it's going to be hard for me to show this uh, mobile suit because I have not leveled it whatsoever. Um, a lot of y'all just really want to see it. So you saw it in action, but let's do a little bit of a customization to it. Okay, and here's the custom I came up with. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I could have went with just like put a Barbados ma uh, mace on it and just put all these other like OP weapons. But I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit in the same route. So, you know, uh, some three stars, some uh, some two stars. But yeah, this is what I came up with. Large Heat Hawk. I think, I think the Heat Hawk is definitely the better looking weapon when it comes to Zaku's. I, I, I think it just looks beautiful. And I went with the color scheme of a, a very dark gray. Uh, well, I guess maybe more neutral uh, gray with some red. I think that looks really good overall. Um, but yeah, like I, I mean, like I said, I can easily go the the route of hey, just make it overpowered, throw all the powered up weapons on it. But let's just see what it looks like just right out the gate. Okay, so I did bring a buddy with me because I don't want to die like I did last time. So we got the missiles once again. There we go. Look at that, boys. I like that. I don't know. I, I love that animation. Woo! That boy's dangerous. Come on. All right, we got the beam rifle. Obviously, I mean, obviously we're not, I mean, you shouldn't be using a beam rifle with a Zaku. But hey, this is, uh, you know, Gumpa Warfare, so anything goes, my lads. 
Come on. Huh. All right. Looks like my partner's not really doing too much. All right. Woo! Mmm. I just, I love that animation, to be honest. All right, so we got the blitz coming out. Oh man, this is not looking good. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. Well, I'm obviously we're just playing around. I, I've only wasted 20 energy, so not too bad. Um, yeah. Okay, so for my analysis, <sighs> well, obviously, the Zaku 2 that I have is fairly weak. It's not leveled up whatsoever. But I think this is just my this is my thoughts, this is my future prediction based on what I've seen from pe uh, previous mobile suits that I've actually like done analysis on or um, just utilized. The problem with this is that I think this is not a good mobile suit. Um, you really have to put effort into this. You're gonna have to do a lot of customization. There's a lot of these parts that I don't think are good at all, and we'll just take a look at um, you know the parts traits. Obviously, the arms I would say need to go. The head, it's up to you. I, but that that debuff, or that, I'm sorry, that buff to other allies, I don't think this is good in terms of what they probably want you to utilize this MS4. That's so that's, that's a very supportive move. Um, I think that the Zaku 2 Char is should be more of a mid shooter. So I'll probably get rid of the head, maybe replace it with something else, a camp or something like that. Um, get rid of the arms. Get rid of the arms completely. But you know what, the redeemable things on this MS is going to be the backpack, because you, that, you're going to get extra uh, piercing. I think extra piercing is going to be good. Uh, so if you have something that is going to be a A in the, uh, the power, but unfortunately it's going to be a D rating in piercing, that backpack is going to pretty much help that EX move out. Uh, but then you're going to have over here the legs. The special shot power, I think it has it has a place. But I don't think it's that great. Um, I think there's, I've seen other legs that are way better, so I probably would not even really entertain the legs as of right now. But keep it on the side because you never know what's going to be released in the future. Now, when it comes to the body, the body has, the body has also once again um, potential. But I, I, I really have not seen too many debuff EX skills that are like really good or ex um skills that are like noteworthy that has a debuff so i don't know I, I would really have to say the best thing on this is going to be the backpack um and then obviously char char is a great pilot so uh utilize him to the best of your abilities but everything else i mean your weapons you can load that out however you want i mean if you really want to try and pull some stuff from the two star or the one star uh, to make it like an official Zaku 2, you're really going to have a tough time on the battlefield, guys. Uh, but yeah, in my opinion, the backpack is the only thing you should really be focused on. I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep these parts, I'm going to keep uh, beefing them up, and maybe in the future, I can see a use for the Zaku 2. But as of right now, my lads, I would say keep pulling for some default 4s. But, but that's all from me, guys, so definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Let me know in the comment section below exactly what mobile suit you want to see get featured next. Uh, I generally w would like to start doing maybe a little more of the two stars or uh, maybe even a little more of the three stars. Because the four stars, I know a lot of people have been saying do Exia, do Dynamis. I don't have all the parts. If I was only missing maybe like one part, I could probably do it. But I'm pretty much missing the entire mobile suit for all these uh, default level fours. Um, I don't know why Pokemon Go has stopped. Uh, but yeah, I definitely would like to do some default fours in the future. But... I can't really do it right now, so definitely recommend me some good two stars and three stars I can do, because for the most part, I have all those completed. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you all for watching, and like always, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that goodness, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.